And I think to your point, it goes back to what you mentioned before, the lack of tolerance or the lack of um, connectivity between individuals is because we've not stepped outside of our box to interact with somebody on the other side of the coin, politically, religiously, um, from the standpoint of gender, from the standpoint of race, from sexual orientation, whatever, you know, we have our thoughts. And it's, it's interesting, there's this, um, there's this always this, this premise of they say, right? Well, they say that you need to do this. They say you need to go here, but very few people take a step back and ask, well, who is they, right? Where does they come from? Who created they? And a lot of times they comes from somebody basically saying something based off of someone else's perspective, not based on their own experience. The moment that you experience it is the moment that you come to realize that they, air quotes, has a name. And you yep. can put a name to they, then you can develop some level of understanding, but then you can also find a through line of connectivity and you can see humanity in this person who might be totally different from you. I also want to throw in it. You, I want you to break, uh, expound on this a little bit. You yeah. being from Tanzania, my wife and I visited Tanzania in 2016. And it was wow. such an interesting perspective, right? Because you said you're from Dar es Salaam. We spent time in Dar es Salaam. We went to the Morgul region, went on yep. safari. But then we went to Zanzibar, which mm -hmm. was interesting. In Dar es Salaam, it was basically almost split 50-50 Christian Muslim, right? Like it was basically split. When we went to the island of Zanzibar, I think they gave us the analogy there were like 48 mosques and two churches. So Zanzibar was almost exclusively Muslim. So culturally, it was like being in the Middle East and we had done Qatar and all of that stuff. So we had saw the very, very, the, the, the similarity. But Tanzania is this hybrid mesh, so to speak, of Christian, Muslim, also indigenous religions and all of that as well. But there's this mixture of it. And what we came to find was Christians and Muslims in Tanzania did a lot of things together because it was so interwoven into the culture. Talk to us a little bit about if that had any level of, because you mentioned your family as well. Did that have any level of influence in, you know, your perspective on some of this? That's a really good question. You know, a fascinating insight. You know, I haven't thought about whether it's, you know, as I reflect on it kind of now, how has it affected my life and my thinking and my values? Um, in general, I think, you know, going back to that point of looking at people in a humane way, being adaptable and flexible. Uh, I, so we recently went to Zanzibar for the first time. So I've never been okay. there. And so my wife went there and my wife's American. Mm -hmm. And when we, when we went to Zanzibar, we're like, all right, look, can't wear the same shorts you were wearing and die. It's just yes, it's yes. Work that way. Uh -huh. you, have to, you have to, you know. Of course, she's true American. She's like, you know, why? Why can't I wear what I want? She mm -hmm. of course respected the culture and understood. Uh, but it was this, you know, this idea of independent thinking and, and living out your your own ideals um, that you know she kind of struggled with. And I think in many ways, I, I think when it, we, it gets back to your point, how has it helped? in terms of me, is understanding that I have my own values, but mm. there are other values that I have to respect. Mm. Because they have their own way of living. They have their own way of, of seeing the world. And from, if we take the Zanzibar example, um, you think about Islam as a, a fairly strict and disciplined religion and in the way of being, uh, where you pray five times a day, you know, because living in Syria, out here, the mosque, you know, every morning, mm -hmm. you celebrated Ramadan. You couldn't, you couldn't get any food. You couldn't go to the market mm -hmm. the next time because everything was closed. And so, part of the of managing kind of these two worlds is is just being able to respect others' cultures and values, and seeing that they're. It's not that I'm my views of the world are right or wrong. It's just my experiences, my perspective, and it's cause and effect. If I live this way, these are the outcomes that that can come out of it. And I think you have that same way with other cultures, that if uh, countries and, and different uh, people live a certain ways, there's certain outcomes, there's so these, there are these causal effects. So I try to look at it in that way, but in a, in a way of respecting other people's culture. And even if the boundaries are a lot uh, more refined than the boundaries of how I see the world. 
Man, I'm, I'm going to tell you what was powerful about it. I just took down the notes, you know, have your own values, but respect the values of others. And, and I think it really comes down to that whole concept there. You have your own values. We need to understand who we are. And just because other people believe something different, act a certain way, or have a different way of operating, that doesn't mean that you need to change, but you should respect how they operate. And, and, I, and, I gave, and I, when you gave the example about your wife, it made you think about us, right? Because when yeah. we went to when we went to um, to Zanzibar, that was part of the thing. You're like, you know, culturally, especially like when you're in Stone Town and walking around, you know, the city and all. They were like, all right, I mean, yeah, you can wear swimming stuff if you want to, but just out of respect for the culture, you know, cover up a little bit more. Don't have your shoulders out, ladies. You know, maybe your shorts a little longer than you. You know, don't walk around in booty shorts and all of that. <laughs> and it was so it it, it was funny though. We respected that. But then we noticed there were others that totally disregarded that and were just like, I don't care. I'm just they're going to walk around in their bikini top and their booty shorts, even though culturally that's not norm to to Zanzibar.